Number 11. One of the radiographic devices used in the dentist office emits an x-ray of wavelength 2.090 times 10 to the negative 11th meters. What is the energy in joules and frequency of this x-ray? All right, so basically they want us to take a wavelength, right, which is lambda, and they're telling us that this is 2.090 times 10 to the negative 11th meters. And for the first part, they just want us to go to energy, which is capital E, in joules. We know a formula that goes from um, wavelength to energy, right? We've used it many times before in this chapter already. It is energy equals hc over lambda, over wavelength. And remember, h is a constant number. You guys should know that h is Planck's constant, right? h is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per second, and also C is a constant number. C is the speed of light, which is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So remember these two constants. And now since we have that, we could plug everything in and solve. So the energy equals 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th, which is H, times C, which is 2.998, times 10 to the 8th. You can round it and say it's just 3 times 10 to the 8th, but this is the number that the textbook gives you, so I'm just going to stick with that. This is all divided by the wavelength, which is 2.090 times 10 to the negative 11th. And now we just put it all into the calculator and we solve for energy. So calc is out. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th times 2.998 times 10 to the 8th, all over 2.09 times 10 to the negative 11th. And this energy, which is per one photon, is 9 point... We should have four sig figs, because that's what they gave us, so 9.505 times 10 to the negative 15th, and that's joule per one photon. So you could say either joules, or you could just say joule per photon. So that's the energy. So we got this part. Now we just have to convert to a frequency. So we should also know a conversion between wavelength and frequency, right? It's the speed of light formula. C, speed of light, equals wavelength times frequency. And in this case, frequency in the textbook, frequency is actually a V. It's like a slanted V. So but this case, I'm just going to say that we're searching for V, which is frequency. All right. We already know what the speed of light is. C equals 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So all we got to do is just plug it in. 2.998 times 10 to the 8th equals, they gave us the wavelength, so 2.090 times 10 to the negative 11th times v solve for frequency you just all divide by 2.09 times 10 to the negative 11th you do it on this side 90 times 10 to the negative 11th that cancels out and we get v which is frequency this equals 2.998 times 10 to the eighth divided by 2.09 times 10 to the negative 11th we get 1.4, 1.434 times 10 to the 19th, and that's cycles per second, so S to the minus 1. So that's how many cycles, how many sinusoidal waves are happening in one second. Crazy. These waves are going super fast. So that's the end to this. We answered what the energy in joules was, and we answered what the frequency is if we were given a wavelength. Easy as pie, right? Guys, thank you so much. Um, yeah, this one was fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought, if this was easy or hard for you. Love to hear from you guys. If you want, hit the subscribe button. You get tons more questions coming your way. So that's going to help you out on your homework, exams, quizzes, you name it. We got you covered. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.